We're driving with a magnetic pineapple. This time on Hack 5. Hey everyone, Glitch here and welcome back to Hack 5. In the last few videos, we've been working on building this DIY pineapple tactical case that we can use for all kinds of things. It's got a GPS, you can add LTE to it. And today we're gonna be adding magnets and using it as a war driving case on the top of vehicles. You should only do this on your own vehicles. And in fact, I shouldn't even say that. Probably don't try this at home because unless you understand the strength of magnets and wind loading, you could actually turn this into a projectile for vehicles behind you. So officially, don't try this at home. Unofficially, you can watch me do it. Now, before we get started adding magnets to this, let's talk about the script I'm gonna be using for war driving. In the last video, I talked about how Dragorn, the author of Kismet, has been working on optimizing his software to run on pineapples and other low power devices. Along with that, there is a specific war driving mode that really strips it down to the bare bones basics and makes it uh, just capture the SSIDs, the timestamps, and basically the GPS coordinates so that it is as simple and low overhead as possible. Uh, we're going to be discussing how that works, and we're also going to be talking about a script that I found and modified on the Hack5 forums that allows us to set the GPS time and start war driving automatically so that we don't need to do anything other than run that script. This saves a lot of command and typing, especially if you're using something like an Android phone to set up your war driving. You don't want to have to sit there and do all these different steps. You just want to start war driving and get on to it. So without further ado, let's dig in. So this video assumes you watch the GPSD setup video as well as the Kismet setup video and that your pineapple's up to date and all that jazz. Uh, the script we're using today is actually inspired from this script over on the Hack5 forums uh, written by Chris Myers 2000 and he goes through and actually uh, sets up, uh, they use host APD, we're not doing that. Uh, and this is for the Mark V, this is not for the Mark VII, so we have to take some liberties here and update it. But the specific parts we're interested in is the GPS pipe, uh, UTC date, and basically this takes the GPS commands, which not only give you location, but that also gives you time and date information. And this sets the pineapple's time and date from this so we don't need to go into the ui and set up an internet connection and do that so this will make our log files a lot more useful especially for something like the worldwide word drive challenge that just happened where everything needs to be properly timed and uh, uh dated and all that jazz so yeah uh thank you chris myers for this awesome script from 2015 we're going to be using it here in 2022 so if we switch over to the pineapple and uh, do an ls real quick because I do not remember the name of the script. Uh, nano wardrive.sh. Here we go. So I'll have this script linked down below, uh, and or probably just paste it into the the description so I don't have to post it somewhere. Basically, we're going through and killing GPSD Kismet, and that uh, makes sure that we aren't going to have any conflicts. Now this script assumes you're using the five gigahertz module. So that's what WLAN three is here. You can just remove that if you're just using the built-in pineapple interfaces. And it assumes that the GPS, as we discussed in the GPSD setup video, is set to ACM zero. It will then sleep for one second to make sure the GPS is set up. And then it sits here and waits to make sure you have an accurate GPS fix. And then it, like I said, it sets the UTC date with GPS pipe, and then it sets the interfaces into monitor mode, and then it starts Kismet into the folder Kismet logs using the prefix word drive, and it puts it in word drive mode with the interfaces one, two, and three. And like I said, word drive mode is just a really stripped down version of Kismet that focuses only on word driving. I used this box for the uh, worldwide word drive challenge this year, pre, uh, just prior to DEF CON, and it did pretty well. Uh, I got on the board. Um, but there were people out there who picked much better qu uh, quadrants and all that, so I'm not going to boast about my position or my rank. I'm going to go in here and start the script, and I currently don't have the uh, 5 gigahertz module plugged in, so it'll probably throw some warnings, but it looks like it will still start. Kismet is in war driving surveying mode. This turns off tracking non-AP devices and most packet logging, which is a good thing. That means it can see, focus a lot more on just SSIDs that are relevant. 
And as usual, let's run this route. So, and now that you know how the word driving script works, let's throw some magnets on this thing, chuck it on the top of the roof and go for a drive. Not every geek with a Commodore 64 can hack into NASA. Okay, so now we're in the ambulance and getting ready to go for a war drive. We've got the uh, unit on the roof. And well, now how am I gonna connect to it? I'm recording you from my Android phone and I don't wanna use that. I could use the laptop I have sitting next to me uh, or dock it up into my monitors in the back. But I'm, I wanna be driving and I wanna monitor my, uh, my progress while I drive. So, I have an 11 inch Android Auto head unit. Now, the problem is, I, yeah, I could absolutely sit here and, uh, you know, type it in with the on-screen keyboard, but when we get to the terminal and then dot and slash and, you know, if I need to hit control or up arrow, the on-screen keyboard, keyboard's just terrible. I can install a hacker keyboard, but that stinks to use while driving. So, I have a Bluetooth keyboard, which, I mean, it's an Android Auto, or it's an Android head unit. I, I can use a Bluetooth keyboard. It's just like an Android phone. So I go in here and type in my super secret password. And we go over to terminal. And if we go in and hit ls, we can see our warddrive.sh script. And start that. Now, it's saying no such device because I don't have the 5 gigahertz unit plugged in. I said before, uh, I ended up frying my USB uh, hub, and you'll see a video on that next week. And there we go, we are already capturing SSIDs. So I can go over to a new tab, and hit up the Kismet interface. And I'm going to hold my phone very still to make my life easier when I have to blur all this. Yep, and we've already got 38 devices. And there you have it, just like that. Uh, you saw we're not in the most populated areas, so we only got about 780 devices, and those are all war drive devices. Those are uh, routers and not like individual phones and stuff like that. So that's actually not bad considering the uh, area I'm in is rather rural. And yeah, that's how you war drive with a magnetic pineapple. Uh, stay tuned next week for some excitement because this ended up being a bit more involved than I thought. Uh, I ended up killing part of the pineapple and repairing it. That's next week's video though. Thank you all for watching. I've been Glitch. This has been Act 5. Glitch out. Thanks for supporting Hack 5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.